3D Sheet Metal Creator is one of the tools included with SOLIDWORKS Cloud. It runs in the same interface as the other browser-based design tools. Switching to Sheet Metal Creator is as simple as going to the Switch App command and selecting Sheet Metal. You can see once the Sheet Metal interface starts up, we have access to all of our Sheet Metal tools in our menu bar. Now here we're going to go ahead and just start with a sketch. The sketch tools are all the same in 3D Sheet Metal Creator. We have the same pop-up toolbars that allow us to add relations or easily create dimensions to control the size of our feature. Here we're going to start out with the flange. So I'm going to go ahead and just create a rectangle. And I can make the bottom line of the rectangle a construction line. For sheet metal flanges, we can start out with a thin extrusion. You can see, once I pick the extruded flange command, it gives me the option to set some of my sheet metal features, like thickness, k-factor, and what type of relief that I'd like. Now we just choose which sketch we're going to use, and which face, or edge in this case, is going to remain flat. Enter in the total length, and that's all that we need. We've now started a sheet metal feature. And if you look over at the feature manager on the left hand side, you can see we have access to all of our sheet metal commands. Now we're going to create a tab. To do this, I can simply sketch the shape that I want and tell it to create a flange. Now once we have the sketch created, let's locate how far away from the edge we'd like it and how tall we'd like it. Now we go into the flange command, select which edge we're going to place the flange on, and then we can either have the entire edge be a flange, or in this case, we can pick the sketch that we just created. You can see we have a lot of options, like which side the material is going to be on, what type of relief that we want, what our bend radius is going to be. And in this case, we can offset this flange to either extend out from the part, or as we want, back into the part by a certain distance. You can see, there we have a flange created with a tear relief. Now, one nice thing with all the browser-based applications is we can share sketch geometry. This is particularly handy in sheet metal parts, as I can create a, a part with a bunch of saved sketches for cutouts that I like to create, and I can just tell it I want to insert a sketch from my saved part, select which sketch I want to insert, and it will place that sketch on my part. Now, for my cutouts, I haven't defined the size, so I just place the sketch. Obviously, this is a little larger than what we'd want, but now we can just simply dimension the part to control the size that we want. We'll select the size of the hole, the overall height, and then where we want this located with respect to the bottom and front edge. Again, saves me a lot of time by reusing existing sketches. Now we're going to go ahead and use this sketch to just create a cut on the sheet metal part, and we can simply link this cut to the thickness of the part. Now, part of this feature is just a, a mounting tab, so I want this to bend out. So we're just going to sketch a line where I want the bend to occur, how far away from the hole that I'd like that. And then in our sheet metal toolbar, we can just simply do a sketched bend. Select the sketch, which side we want to remain flat. And for this one, we're going to reverse the direction. And there we have our tab. 
Now, a number of other tools that we could use on this sheet metal component. We have edge flanges, we have miter flanges, we have hems, um, a whole bunch of other sheet metal features that we could use to, to finish this part. But for now, in this video, we're just going to save this and let's go ahead and export our flat. So in the tools menu, we have an export to DXF. This is going to flatten our part based on the K factor that we used and then save off a DXF file. And you can see we can save bend lines and, and stamped features. And I'm going to save this off to my 3D drive. Since this is part of SOLIDWORKS Cloud, we have the benefit of using 3D Drive. 3D Drive is a shared network storage location where I can save this part and then I can generate a link to share it with either vendors or the shop floor, depending on who needs the DXF file. So one click of a button, that's saved. And if we switch over to my Files tab, we can access that file in my 3D Drive. Now, the nice thing about 3D Drive is, for myself and the recipient of the file, it includes a viewer. With this viewer, we can redline and mark up the part if any changes need to be made. And for me, I'm going to activate an external sharing link that I can copy and email off to a vendor. So you can see, 3D Sheet Metal Creator, as part of SOLIDWORKS Cloud, gives us the tools that we need to create our sheet metal parts in a browser-based interface. Thank you.